Hello everyone, I am Dr. Seema Gaunkar. I am a consultant, neonatologist and pediatrician working at Cloud9 Hospital, Sakarnagar. I have done my MBBS from Mahe University and MD Pediatrics from Mahe University. After that, I have done my neonatology fellowship from the Cloud9 Hospital itself. Collapsed neonate is a neonate either inside the nursery or the just born and shifted to mother's side in the ward or in the labor rooms has collapsed. Collapsed means baby has stopped breathing and plus minus baby could have stopped with the heart rates, heart beating also. Baby's color will be have changed or baby would have been not responding to the stimuli. Collapse term is actually a very crude terminology. We don't use such terminologies in the medical science. So it is an unresponsive baby who has stopped breathing. So it's actually a very tensing situation for anyone, including parents, including the treating pediatrician, including the gynecologist, because it could be a baby in the nursery or it could be a baby with the mother. Suddenly who was a feeding baby or who was crying, yelling and doing all the movements has suddenly stopped. So how to handle this? See, the first thing is you have to get that baby immediately to the nursery and better in the wards or in the maternity hospitals, they should keep certain resuscitation things in the wards itself so that when you are transporting the baby to nursery also, you can give the oxygen or the air with the pressure to the baby that's called as positive pressure ventilation what we say should be given that's the resuscitation steps we should start immediately we should stimulate the baby try to waken the baby if not responding at least try to do mouth to mouth breathing so that baby starts breathing otherwise if you have those devices which can help to resuscitate start using them if nothing is there immediately bring the baby rush to the emergencies or to the nicus and after that, the doctors will take care of the airway, breathing and also circulation. See, what are the causes for this collapsed newborn? Collapsed newborn, just like that, most of the babies do not collapse. Though, sometimes the milk can get choked into the windpipes or what we call as the larynx or the trachea and baby may stop breathing. But that is actually the, not the major cause. The major causes could be a baby who is having a heart problems, cardiac diseases what we say or some babies who have severe infections, hidden infections which is not manifested so far and baby has just you know started sudden collapsing. Infection could be from the mother's womb or in the environment they would have got it. Third cause could be metabolic that is one of the major cause for this. What is that metabolic cause? Metabolic cause means there are so many disorders which are not immediately after birth detected. Neither you have known in your families it before. Many of the people are not aware of it. They actually mean that, see when we eat something, it goes to our blood and from the blood it goes to our cells and tissues. That is where all these metabolisms like your glucose, fat, protein, they get digested, they get metabolized and you'll get the products. So before getting the products, if that enzyme which has to produce that product is deficient or there is a factor which helps it, which is deficient, then baby may not be able to produce that factor or that final product. So what happens is because that final product is not produced, that nutrition or that this is not giving to the baby and before whatever was there, that is getting stuck and that gets toxic and that gets poisonous there. So baby will start having third day, second day, fourth day, when they started feeding and they started metabolizing their milk, they get into these problems. That is a metabolic disorders. Actually, it's a very vast topic to explain here, but metabolic disorders are one of the main, main reasons for a baby to suddenly collapse. Second reason is heart diseases that all of us understand. Some of the heart diseases don't come at birth. They manifest, they start coming when the lung pressure slowly comes down and the, there are certain you know, ducts, what we say, the opening between the major vessels. So they start closing. Then there is no shunting or there is no place for the these abnormal connections to go. So that is where we see the abnormalities in the baby. Suddenly baby becomes blue or stops breathing. Third important cause, as I told, that's an infection. That could be any time the cause for the baby. So when we receive a baby, first priority is saving the baby. So that is when we resuscitate the baby, we intubate, we put the baby on ventilation, we start the you know medications to keep the blood pressures on the normal side. We'll have to give the fluid to the baby, antibiotic. There are so many methods for it. 
plus we have to find out what is the cause for it so cause we have to send so many investigations that could be blood investigation urine investigations we have to do the scans echo third important thing is counseling the parents because they don't know the baby which was fine suddenly has collapsed and you have to counsel them and it is not a normally counseling them to explain them why is it happened what is going to be the faith of the baby what is the prognosis what is the cause so it's a quite tensing situation for any pediatrician plus the parents obviously for the baby so this is not an easy task for anyone but there are such entities which exist and we tell them as sudden infant death syndrome or acute life threatening events not the collapsed baby as such and it's a vast chapter in itself.